Hey everyone, welcome back to Living in Richmond, Virginia. I am super excited about who we are going to be spotlighting today. It is Ashley Palmer. Ashley, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. Ashley is a rock star YouTube um, agent in the Charlottesville area, and she has been so gracious to agree so that we can kind of do the Richmond versus Charlottesville today. I'm, I'm excited to learn more. Yeah, I'm excited too. Very good, very good. All right, so Ashley, let's kind of start off to give people kind of a perspective. If you live in um, a certain area, like how long it's going to take you to get to certain things. So Ashley, if you wanted to go to an amusement park, where would you go and how long would it take you to get there? Okay, so I'll start with my favorite first, Bush Gardens. Good. And it would take me about three hours to get to Bush Gardens. So that's heading towards like Norfolk, Virginia Beach side, um, going east from Charlottesville. Mm -hmm. And then my second top choice is going to be a little bit closer, and that's King's Dominion. So it would take about an hour and 15 minutes to get to King's Dominion from Charlottesville. Okay, okay. So for us, um, you know, same amusement parks. No, you know, we're both, we're, both so of us are off there. of 64 or hitting 95. You know, it's going to be the same ones. I would say amusement park wise for both of those, they're going to be a, definitely a bit closer to Richmond. Kings Millions going to be 30 minutes from anywhere in Richmond. And then Bush Gardens, and I'd say kind of I have that preference towards Bush Gardens as well. It's going to be like an, like an, an hour and 15 minutes from Richmond. So think uh, if you like your roller coasters, Richmond might have the one up on Charlottesville because you can get there fast, <laughs> right? That's true. All right. So we, we have one, you know, one zero at this point. Okay. How about um, in the Charlottesville area, if you wanted to go to like the best, the prettiest park, where would you go? Where would you find them? And how long would it take you to get there? Um, okay, let's see. So would this be um, just like something like a national park or like a children's park? Um, I would say what would be kind of when anyone is in Charlottesville, if it's like there's usually like a park that it's like that's the one if you have people from out of town, that's the one you're going to. Hmm. Okay, so I would say Shenandoah National Park oh, um, yes. off like Skyline Drive. Mm hmm. That's, that's the one I would go with. Lots of beautiful views. You're up there in the mountains, lots of hiking, sunsets. You just can't beat it. Absolutely. And if you were, if you lived in Charlottesville, how long would it take you to get there? Uh, I would say 35 minutes. That's, that's good. That's good. Well, that's for sure where Charlottesville, if you love mountains and you want to be in the mountains super fast or even see mountains on a regular basis, Charlottesville definitely has that leg up on us, for sure. You're not going to see any mountains in Richmond, for sure. No. Um, you know, for parks, I would say probably our big draws would be all the ones that are downtown, like Belle Isle, um, uh, you know, Maymont. Yeah. That, that's going to be a big one. And that'd be from really anywhere you live in the area. They're going to be about, you know, if you're downtown, they're going to be maybe 10, 15 minutes away. But if you're on the outskirts in the suburbs, you know, maybe max 25 minutes sort of thing. So, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Both of those are pretty. I've been to both. And Maymount has, um, has an like a small aquarium now. They have like it's little sea otters there. So cute. I know. I love Maymont's like the like go to where everyone, the quintessential, everyone goes to Maymont, you know, and, and checks out all the little animals or, checks out all the little Flowers, sea otters, you know, garden. and, you know, all the pretty gardens and all that. Okay. Okay. So if there was a concert that you wanted to go, like a big name performer coming into town for one, who are you going to go see? And <laughs> where would you go see them in Charlottesville? Okay. So I have to say Dave Matthews band because okay. Dave Matthews is from Charlottesville. Oh, I didn't know that. Were awesome. Yeah. Dave Matthews is from Charlottesville and he would play at the John Paul Jones arena. Okay. And John Paul Jones arena is right there in Charlottesville, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Yep, really close to the university. So it's right there. And we also have um, a pavilion downtown where some smaller concerts would play too. Okay, okay. So Dave Matthews, all right. And I did not know he was from Charlottesville. Mm -hmm. Learn something new. Unfortunately, in Richmond, we are definitely going to have to drive out of the area. We used to have a big venue right in town, but um, they did close that. So we're kind of driving to Charlottesville, you know, about an hour and 30 minutes to go see someone. Or we're going to have to head, you know, probably further east down to like Norfolk or something like that. So it's going to be about an hour and 45 minutes. So Charlottesville, oh. You got another one right there. The uh, yeah, park music scene. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, gotta do that sort of thing. And I think if I were going to see someone concert, I don't know. There's so many people that I'd want to go see. Who would I love to see that I think would be really fun? Katy Perry or something I think would be really fun. Oh yeah. So I have to look what her. We we'll have to look at what her tour schedule is. Okie dokie. Beach. Ashley, it's time for you to go to the beach. Where are you going and how long is it going to take you to get there from Charlottesville? Okay, so the closest beach to us is going to be Virginia Beach, and that's going to take about three hours. Although that's the closest, it's probably not my favorite. Um, I have two other beaches that I like to go to pretty frequently. One is the Outer Banks Mm -hmm. in North Carolina, and it takes about four hours to get there. And then the the third beach that I really enjoy going to is Carolina Beach, just south of Wilmington. Okay. So that's about five five hours away. So I really like that beach too. Outer Banks is like kind of um, slow and it's a little bit deserted. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Virginia Beach and like Myrtle Beach are really touristy. Um, yeah. So I like Carolina Beach because it's kind of in the middle. Okay. That, that's fair enough. When you go down to the Outer Banks, like what part do you usually go to? Nags Head. Okay, to Nags Head. So yeah, we usually stay at this like little uh, local hotel called the Surfside Inn. I think it's really yes. cute. We should check it out. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm so excited because, um, you know, it's funny. I ha- I don't think I've ever been to Carolina Beach, but I hear about it all the time. So I think I'm going to have to make the drive. For beaches in Richmond, we definitely are a little bit closer for sure. Oh, yeah. um, Virginia Beach, we're right at about an hour and 45 minutes. Um, you know, of course, if we hit that tunnel traffic during the summer, who knows? Yeah. But not too bad. And I love about the Outer Banks from Richmond is we don't even have to really get on the interstate a whole bunch of time. We can hit 460 and like go the back way and get ourselves all the way down to like Chesapeake and then maybe get on one of the byways. And it just... It's maybe a little slower, mm-hmm. but takes the like stress off of the like, oh, we're going to the beach. Now we're going to sit in traffic the whole time. Right. right. So yeah. and to Outer Banks, I would say where we're at, you know, to get to Nagsa, which would be one of the closer up ones. Um, I mean, we're probably at right at three hours. Mm-hmm. So not too bad. Mm-hmm. Not too bad there for sure. All right. Now, I know we've kind of touched on it already. We talked about the mountains, but if you wanted to, even if you didn't want to go to Shandoah National Park, if you wanted to just get to the mountains, like just get to the mountains Mm -hmm. and you live in Charlottesville, how long is it going to take you to get there? So I would say about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes, because we have a big mountain right in town called Carter's Mountain. And I think a lot of people from Richmond uh, come to do the apple picking in the fall. Yes. They've got the apple cider donuts and you can oh, yes. um, watch the sunset from up there and you can basically see like all of Charlottesville from the top of the mountain. So it's a really exciting place. That is so awesome. Um, and I love the mountains and I wish we could just maybe take some, maybe I need to get like some string and like, you know, kind of pull them a little bit close every once in a while sort of thing, you know. <laughs> Hopefully they won't, they won't run you over sort of thing along the way. Charlottesville <laughs> definitely has a leg up on Richmond. Uh, we are not 10 minutes from the mountains. To get to the mountains, we've got to pretty much drive to Charlottesville. So it's going to be, you know, a good hour, 45 minutes at least to get to the mountains. So, mm-hmm. all right, we're going to we're gonna definitely, definitely give that to you. we got some nice hills but not to the degree of, 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 of Charlottesville for sure. I, I don't know why I didn't even think about Carter's uh, mountain being right there in town. I don't know why yeah. that's not down to me. Yeah, it's nice. Now I know that I don't usually talk to people about this, but I think it is important to, to mention 
when I think of Charlottesville, I think of like wineries. Well, I mean, like, it's like, which one do you want to go to? Yeah, there's a lot of wineries. They're calling Charlottesville the Napa Valley of the East Coast now. I love it. I guess the the grapes just go grow pretty well on the hill on the hillsides of the mountains. Um, I mean, not like California wine or like Spain or Italy, right, <laughs> but right. pretty pretty good. They grow pretty good on those hillsides. Um, so yeah, I mean, gosh, I don't even know how many there are. Probably over sixty at this point. I think you're right. Yeah, I'm right for sure. What's your favorite one? Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> so favorite hard to favorite pick, two. Pick a favorite. favorite favorite two. Okay, I'll give you favorite two. Um, okay, so I really like Jefferson Vineyards, but only because it's the closest to my house. It's only okay. about fifteen minutes away, oh. and they have a really good Viognier. <gasps> and then, are you serious? That is my favorite kind of wine. Really? Well, it's yes. the Virginia grape, so it's the best. that's fitting. We both live in Virginia, so it's good that we like that. That's right. I think that's probably my favorite wine, too, okay. at least um, like from, from Virginia. Yes. Um, let's see. And then my second favorite would have to be Glass House Winery because mm. it, it has like a, a greenhouse and it has all these tropical plants inside They have like banana trees and it's just really cool and they also have really nice views there it's a little trek to get out there and the okay. roads are a little windy but it's pretty sight. gotcha so the one the jefferson one is 10 minutes from your house that's mm -hmm. awesome and the one that's a little bit more of a trek or wi um or windiness the glass house one how long would you say it takes from charlottesville to get there 30 minutes okay it's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Most of the wineries are in the Crozet area, which is about That's 15 minutes west of Charlottesville. Okay. Right there at the base um, of the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Gotcha. So I would say that, well, Charlottesville definitely has a leg up. And I think it's just because the mountains and all you guys, we definitely don't have 60 wineries around here. And we tend to be like on the outskirts of things. Though so we do have some downtown. I think we do have like a, a like an urban winery. I, the name of it is just um, messing with me right now. But I do know my favorite one around here would definitely be up, um, Upper Shirley. And that's actually in Charles City County. But where I live in the Richmond area, which is kind of like just on the, the the cusp of the city, from where I'm at, it takes me 15 minutes from my house to get there. And mm -hmm. it reminds me of, maybe not as hilly, but like the prettiness of the Charlottesville uh, wineries, for sure, that it's just the really pretty pastures, really neat um big um, manor house, uh, a big place that has like big old winding um, porches around it and like the big fires, you know, so it doesn't matter what yeah. time of year you go there. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's like 15 minutes from my house and you even can like rent. Um, there's like a little place in Richmond right outside that it's called uh, Cool Wheels and you can rent little electric bikes and they do like little tours out there that you can go oh, cool. right out to the winery, oh, you know. Drink some wine for a little while and chill out. Make sure you're, you know, safely operating your vehicle. And then. <laughs> yeah. My friend told me she got pulled over on one of those electric bikes Ooh. the other day because she was riding on the sidewalk and he was like, it is a motor vehicle. <laughs> well, now we know to be especially uh, how many hours has it been before, particularly if we go to the winery, because not only can you get pulled over, you could get pulled over for being intoxicated. Yeah, I've never done that. I promise. Cool. And you guys have a pretty popular brewery too. It's like called Hardywood, I think. Yes, yes, kind of on yeah. the outskirts. Well, kind of on the outskirts. That is a popular one for sure, for sure. And then speaking of breweries, the breweries, we are not called the Napa how Valley. Much, how much wine have you had? <laughs> <And> then, none. <laughs> this is just you know the midday slump. I probably need some. Um, I, we do have that section in Richmond, um, Scott's edition, which has been become like the brewery capital, you know, the little microbrewery thing, you know, so we do have a lot of them over there. So if someone is preferential to the wine, maybe head towards Charlottesville. Um, and then if you're more into the breweries or something, you know, head on to Richmond. So we'll, we'll say Tide. Okay. There's, there's ample alcohol. <laughs> there is. That's true. Ample alcohol to help you guys. As Southerners, we like to drink. 
<laughs> that's right. That's right. But only in, in the proper times for sure. Okay. Let's do a little contest. All right. I want you, let's go on our phones and see if we can find, I want you to find your favorite home that's on the market right now in the Charlottesville okay. area that's in the 500,000 range and tell us about it. So I really love the location of this property. It's located right in the center of the city. So you have, you know, 10 minute proximity to everywhere, downtown Charlottesville with the restaurants, um, you know, pan tops for the doctor's offices, hospitals, 29 North for your big box shopping. Um, and then 10 minutes to the University of Virginia, also another hospital, or if you're a professor or student, you know, mm -hmm. good proximity there. So my favorite thing is the location for sure. Definitely for location. Is it a newer home, older home? Like, yeah, so it was built in 2006. So I'd say okay. it's fairly new. Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, 3,400 square feet. So, you know, it's great size, four bedrooms. So a family could live there or a professional. It's, it would be good for anyone, really. Very good. Very good. All right. So I would say favorite one that is on the market for Richmond right now would be there is a there's a house that is in kind of the Midlothian area, Chesterfield County area, and it's 6506 Hammett Creek Drive, and that's listed at 504-150. Um, it's actually under construction. So we're doing, you know, the old pictures that are like the, you know, this is what it looks like. It's been built somewhere else sort of thing. Now that here's the difference is yours is definitely a good amount larger of what you could get for the money. This one's 2369, you know, not even 2,400 square feet, but it would be brand new. Mm -hmm. um, I think what I love about this is, you know, you actually have a garage, which is like, that's a hit or miss in Richmond. Is it like that in Charlottesville? That yeah, like, it is. Okay. Yeah. And a flat driveway is hit or miss in Charlottesville too. Oh, okay. <laughs> the mountain. So, and lots of good wineries and you've got mountains, but you also a flat driveway is hard to find. Well, it's real easy to find one in Richmond. So <laughs> that's good. But I just love, I love this particular house that, you know, it's just got all the cool little touches that you see, like the craftsman touches. I love the like where they do that really high, like Gordon Batten on the walls and the big giant doors that it just, just really, really pretty features. And of course they make all the models look really great. Um, oh, yeah. it's, not, it's not a big house, not a big house, but just nicely appointed. Mm -hmm. So I'll definitely have to go with that. All right, let's do the, check out our phones again and let's find the most expensive home in your MLS area that is on the market right now and tell us about it. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to go with 6909 Blenheim Road. It's actually Mount Ida, and it's listed for 45000 So Mount Ida Reserve is like this humongous property. Um, it has, you know, a a winery on it, a brewery on it. There's like equestrian, a, a lake. It's just like a seriously beautiful property. And it's south of town. It's probably about 30 minutes to get there okay. from the city okay. of Charlottesville. So this is like you have your own like, you know, your own um, island of sorts. And like you said, like 4.5? Yeah. 4. 4. No, a 45 million. Oh, 45 million. Okay, so... <laughs> well, well, you said go big or you go big or go home. <laughs> My lord. Well, everyone. Yeah. But just... obviously it comes with like so much. I mean, really, it's like a venue. You know, you can have weddings there or reunions or whatever. It, well, it, it's an income producing property. It's well. an, that's right. That's right. So it's, you know, this isn't just your, you know, run of the mill, you know, house that you're living in. There's just so much more potential. And look at all right. the features it has for a, a mere 45 million, it can be yours. Well, yeah, I don't know anyone who can afford that. <laughs> do you? <laughs> of course I do. All of my clients, right? <laughs> so let's bring it back down a little bit to reality in Richmond, you know, and I went ahead and I'm like, okay, let's stick with things that are actually in like 
you know, the Richmond area, whereas yours, Charlottesville definitely seems to like span more area sort of thing. Mm -hmm. This one is yeah, in the- feel that way about Richmond. That's so funny. Well, maybe we, we really don't span that much. We just think this, we perceive this of others, right? So right. yeah, that's what it is. Well, I'm going to go with um, our, our, you know, a very quaint little, um, the, the, the servant quarters for your $45 million one. This one is at 4.2 million, you know? So this is the, this is the starter home. Um, it's in the East end of Henrico. This has actually been on the market not too long, not too long, just like since the end of May, I think we're starting to see some little indications of a little bit of softening or shifts in our market sort of thing. But this one's been on the market. It was built in 2005. So, you know, not brand new, but not super old does have a basement, which is unusual for Richmond, um, four and a half bathrooms, you know, 73, 47 on the square footage and nice big basement. The coolest thing is this one is on almost 40 acres of land and it does have its own pond. Now it doesn't have its own uh, equestrian stable and all these other things, but you know, again, this is your starter home version, right? So. <laughs> well, compared to Mount Ida. <laughs> right. Mount Ida. Okay. How much, how long has Mount Ida been on the market? Just curious. Let's see. Mount Ida has been on the market for, it says 16 days, but maybe they got a new listing agent because I saw it a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Took it off and put it back on. That's right. The old like, you know, oh, it just popped up and you're like, hmm, why am I having deja vu right now? Mount right. Ida is, you know, I didn't just come up with this in my head. Well, that's very cool. Kind of like comparing the different areas and what have you. All right. Ashley, kind of talk to me a little bit about in the Charlottesville area, kind of average, average price range. If someone's shopping in Charlottesville, Virginia, what's going to be kind of the average price range for a home? So, I mean, just recently, you know, every quarter it's like up, up, up. Right. It's, it's a good market for sellers. Um, so the average sale price in Albemarle County is three ninety right now. Okay. Okay. What about it? And, and, and um, we very comparable, I'd say probably more at about, you know, about 350. So just, just a smidge lower. And I, and I feel like our areas are kind of neck and neck in many things. Mm -hmm. um, I think probably our downtown um, areas, Richmond and Charlottesville for the more historic properties, um, they seem to run price-wise very similar to each other. Things like on Monument Avenue and what have you. And I don't even know like what's the what's the like the place in downtown Charlottesville that everyone wants to be like, that's the exclusive spot. I would say probably the Belmont area. Okay. This is like the most up and coming right now. Okay. Having a lot of gentrification there. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sort of thing. And are those usually older homes that have been restored or maybe not mm -hmm. restored? Yeah, I mean, there's some new construction homes like popped in between um, right. like a lot of smaller, more like cottage houses. They're okay. only like two bedroom, one or two baths. They're like tiny. So people are like ripping the roofs off and adding second stories. I got you kind of building, building mm -hmm. up, building mm -hmm. up sort of thing. Okay. So if someone lives in Char Charlottesville, where would you say for, you know, for a commute? Where are most people going to be commuting if you live in the Charlottesville area and how long is it going to take you to get there? Um, like for work purposes? Yep. Okay. So most, I would say like a lot of people um, either work at um, University of Virginia, Virginia Medical Center or the okay. university. Okay. So they employ a lot of people in Charlottesville. Um, and I would say a lot of those people live right in town, like right in the city. So, okay. I mean, some people even live within walking distance. Okay. Okay. So fairly, fairly easy commute for people. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would say that for Richmond, most of Richmond, um, employment wise, they're going to be you know, working in the Richmond area or remote with mm -hmm. some particular company. Um, commutes are very reasonable. Um, I would say 20 minutes or less. And um, 
big employers would be like, you know, Amazon. We just got word that we're getting um, the first North American plant for Lego. We're pretty excited about that. Who knows when it will actually come? That's so cool. Isn't that cool? Uh, what's the thing from Lego? Um, from Legos, it's like everything is awesome or something. There's like a yeah, everything you know. is awesome. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so everything is awesome in Richmond. We're getting Lego. Um, <laughs> And then a big, you know, big employers too, I would say definitely lots of downtown things like um, VCU, MCV, you know, another big, you know, medical mm -hmm. teaching college sort thing. Um, so yeah, that, that would be, you know, commutes are, are pretty, pretty, pretty short. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I would say average in Charlottesville is 20 minutes or less. So I think we're right on par with each other. Good, 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 good. So if you don't like traffic, Richmond or Charlottesville would be the place for you. For sure. I and think one thing we didn't talk about is like the beautiful James River in Richmond. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the James is pretty special. Um, I love it that you have several different spots that you can get in with your kayak or your paddle board, um, mm -hmm. or if you just want to go swimming, you know, or just sunbathing on the rocks or what have you. There's just so many different spots to get in. Yeah. Do you have a favorite spot when you visit Richmond that you go to on the James? Um, well, I've been like white water rafting. On okay. It's like we did like a, like a tour. We had like a tour guide and went on a group and did this white water rafting thing. And that was a lot of fun. Um, but I, I used to go to VCU actually. Um, okay. so yeah, I graduated with a biology degree from there and I used to walk to the James all the time. Cause it's I like bet right you there. spent a lot of time on the James. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So it was nice just to sit on the side and study or just go look. It's just so pretty. It is. It is pretty. And it, it is so good that it's like, particularly if you're downtown, just there being so many different spots, you can go see it and you can see it from different versions. You either can get like the quiet kind of untouched, or you can be like the real bustly city where you've got like the overpasses going over top of it and everything like that. Yeah. That is so cool. Um, well, not necessarily in the James, but one of the things that the James kind of, you know, runs, into like the Fallen Creek and then Fallen Creek Reservoir. I live on the Fallen Creek Reservoir. So everything that goes in the James, I'm a, I'm like a, that's, that's kind of my thing is like trying to clean up our rivers and our waterways. Cause unfortunately they're not, they're still pretty, but there's a little bit more trash in there in certain areas. And I want to get that out to keep our river looking pretty. Yeah. For sure. Well, you guys have a lot bigger population than Charlottesville, right? I think Charlottesville is like it's like 40 or 60,000 people or something like that. Definitely, definitely okay. larger, definitely yeah. larger. I know just the city is like, what are we at? I know there's at least in one of the sections, I think the city is maybe like 41,000. And then like the outskirts is like, or the full thing is like 230,000. So yeah, much bigger area. Yeah, yeah definitely. So when, um, is there, I'm trying to think in Charlottesville, is there a river that runs through? Yeah, there is. It's called the Ravana River and it actually oh, yeah. kind of like landlocks Charlottesville. It goes like all the way around Charlottesville. Okay. If you're like looking at a map. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a nice river. You can paddleboard, kayak. It's pretty tame. Like there's only like three or four rapids. Um, a lot of people tube on it. So okay. it's nice and it provides like a lot of you know, outdoor recreation for the area, but I wouldn't say it's as pretty as the James. The James okay. just has so, so much flowing water it does. Um, and rocks and bridges. Um, and the Ravana is like really wooded. Um, so you're just kind of like floating along this river. And I gotcha with that, like big giant, that Virginia canopy, right? Yes. yes. That yes. like, I can't see the sun. This is nice to shade me from things, but I'd like to be able to like actually see something like that. Well, that's yeah. That's good. Well, that that's so cool. I ne didn't know that you graduated from VCU. So what took you to Charlottesville from, from Richmond? Um, gosh, I think uh, my job, I ended up getting a job at the University of Virginia. And then I met my husband and he was starting up town realty at the time. And I said, well, okay. I don't like my job. I want to do what you do. So right. I got a job and came to work for town realty. And have it Perfect. Not. And the rest, the rest is history. That's right. That's right. What brought you to Richmond? Um, Richmond has been, um, you know, my husband had family that had lived here for always. And so he always had that tie to it. And ironically, my parents actually met at VCU many years ago. 
Um, they both were students at VCU. Um, and so that was kind of like always the tie there. But we at a certain point just decided, you know, we always loved Richmond and we seemed like we were going up there to shop or just to visit family and doing things like that. And we finally were like, you know, particularly in real estate, where you live is kind of whatever you want. You always feel like you're like, oh, you know, you just kind of mm -hmm. hop along and go to different areas. And I think in realist, as realtors, we're just more open to moving rather than like, oh, no, I can't move. And you're like, why not? I can live yeah. I want. So we yeah. just decided, hey, you know what? Um, everybody was ready for a change. And it's like, let's make Richmond home. And it's actually been the spot that um, I've lived the longest in for any amount of time. And it feels like home. The kids call it home. They both, you know, both have married people that are from Richmond. So Richmond's home. Cool. Very, very cool. Well, Ashley, thank you so much for joining us today. I've learned so much about Charlottesville that I had no idea about. Yay. And now everyone will be able to kind of see which spot might be the best one for them. And thank you everyone for joining us again uh, for another spotlight. And remember, leave the, everything better. Hey, we have people contacting us all the time about um, looking for a realtor and looking to move to Richmond, Virginia. If that sounds like you, we would love to be the real estate team that helps you. All of our contact information is below the description and we can't wait to hear from you.